This one is smoked. So I try to take it off apart, take the shell off the back, and take off the um, tentacles, put it in. I take off the shell off the back, like that. I should also tell you that crevette is very good for bitter leaf soup that we call ndole, traditionally from the littoral province in Cameroon. And that is going to come up in my, in my um, next episodes that I'm going to be broadcasting to you. In the meantime, we're going back because I need to let you know today is Eru and it's a special dish from the southwest province. So the crevette is right here. I'm going to soak up the crevette for a few minutes and it's going to sit too. And then I'm gonna put this away. So the next thing we need to do, um, you wash your ginger, of course, you chop it up. I don't take out the skin because it's very nutritive. So you chop it up and then I'm gonna put it in the blender. Okay, I put it all in the blender. Remember, I'm not gonna use all this ginger uh, and all the garlic because it's too much it's a lot of it but it depends on how much you eat and remember that garlic is very good for your health it prevents a lot of ailments and it suppresses the action of the cholesterol that you're gonna have in the palm oil later so I'm back to the garlic right now sorry for that I'm gonna peel my garlic and don't be scared to touch garlic now it's a very good aroma that most people say well it's strong but I like it when it's strong because what happens is anything that doesn't look nice, most of the time we realize that it does very good stuff for our body, you know? It keeps us healthy. So, um, I didn't say everything though, but most of it keeps us healthy. Like ginger, people don't like peeling ginger or cutting up ginger. And they say it's a lot of work, but I will tell you again, if you don't take care of what you put in your mouth, you know what happens. You need to make sure that you're healthy and it starts from what you eat and I'm very peculiar about that myself so um, that's why I take the time to make sure that I prepare exactly what I eat so that um, whatever happens after I can hold myself accountable and then I'm gonna wash it because remember we're not washing it yet I'm gonna put it in my blender and then this is habanero Pepper is very hot, I should tell you. So what I'm going to do with this, I'm going to wash it. I'm going to wash it right here. Now, if you know that you're not very used to this, you don't want to cut it with your fingers, you might want to use a knife to take the, the um, stem away from the uh, pepper. But I'm used to this, and it doesn't really matter. So I'm going to put a couple more peppers. This is five. I'm going to put like um, six. I'm going to put like eight. But remember, I'm not going to use all this for this dish. I'm going to preserve some so I don't have to blend over and over when I need them. So I'm going to put it right here. And uh, next up, we're going to have this sit right here. So the next thing I need to do... We can transfer all of this in here. Remember, when you're blending these things, since they do not have a lot of water, I want to just add a little bit, like a quarter of a, uh, of a cup of water in here and watch, make sure that it's enough as you gently blend. So I'm going to blend. Remember in here you have garlic, you have ginger that you don't have to peel and you have the habanero pepper right there. And I have, I put a few, I have a few in there. I'm going to add some more water because we're having a hard time blending this. So, okay. A little more water because the machine is hesitant on grinding or blending. Now that the 
this is blended and everything is done, we're going to start mixing everything up to show you now how I'm going to cook this. Now, the first thing you need to do is your arrow, your dry arrow is here, be it wet or dry. You want to soak it in some warm water. You want to make sure it stays down so you see it's soaked, it's soaked very well okay now that I'm done I'm gonna wash the spinach remember that the spinach is actually representing water leaf that we use in Cameroon but since we do not have water leaf in so many parts of uh, the world and I'm based in the United States, I'm going to use spinach like I earlier showed you. So we're going to fill that with water. Then we're going to get the spinach. I'm going to untie. I'll put it in water. You know, most of the time, since the spinach grows very low um, near the surface of the earth, you want to wash it very well to avoid um, cooking uh, the sand or any other thing that might be irritable to whoever is going to eat the food that you're going to cook. So what you need to do is wash it really well. Okay, now when you've washed it out, you put it together like so. Turn it like that if you want. Squeeze the water out. And then chop it up. Okay, we're almost done with the spinach. One more. Alright, now that the spinach is well chopped up, this is the next step we're gonna do. We're gonna place the um we're gonna place um the pot on the stove and we're gonna start cooking. Now remember in here there is no water at all but the spinach. I know the spinach makes water, so the only thing we're gonna use right now, I'm gonna turn the stove on. The only thing we're gonna use is a stock from the fish which is really tasty remember in there I put salt and um, we're gonna do that and then we're gonna let it cook don't worry about any pieces of meat that fell in that's fine I mean everything else trust me the end justifies the means so we're gonna cover this for a few like five minutes and let it simmer while that is being covered we're gonna um we're gonna wash the uh the shrimp the dry shrimp we're not gonna boil this at all separately we're gonna throw it on top of the um the spinach there you go that is set and it's gonna cook We're not going to season anything per se yet because remember the stock that came from the fish and the um the beef mountain which is um the uh cow stomach is very nice 
So the next thing we need to do now 